I've been reading a lot about sharks around Florida lately. A few weeks ago, it was George, the great white shark, swimming off the coast of the Everglades. We know this because George was tagged with a radio transmitter in 2016 off the coast of Massachusetts. Since then, science have tracked him from Nova Scotia all the way to South Florida. I realize that as an apex predator, George has probably been responsible for more than his share of death and mayhem in the ocean. But shouldn't scientists have to get a warrant or something before they can go tracking your movements 24 hours a day, 365 days a year? Later, it was the migration of the black tip sharks from the waters off Florida north toward the Carolinas. I wonder if the other fish think of sharks the same way we think of snowbirds. With them heading back north, the resident fish are happy they can get a reservation as a restaurant. The fish economists have to remind everyone how important the black tips are to the local economy. Scientists say the number of sharks migrating this year is down compared to past years. My question is, why is it anybody's business where these sharks are going? It's a free ocean, isn't it? Finally, there are the researchers who have discovered a new species of shark living in the deep waters off Florida. They discovered the Atlantic six-gill shark, as opposed to the Pacific six-gill shark, by baiting lines with tuna heads and dangling them thousands of feet beneath the ocean's surface. So you're an Atlantic six-gill shark minding your own business, snacking on a tuna head, and some researchers haul you to the surface, extract DNA from you, and, if you're lucky, throw you back in the water. Also, the researchers can get their names in a scientific journal. Again, shouldn't that require a court order? I have a policy regarding sharks that I think the rest of Florida should adopt. Hey sharks, how about I leave you alone and you leave me alone? Deal? I'm Brent Batten. Be sure to read my columns on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays in the Naples Daily News. Check me out on Facebook, and as always, thanks for watching.